Hello, folks. Welcome to the Natural Medic Adventures. My name is Craig. I just came up this road here about a mile and a tenth from the East Caney Creek Trailhead going up here to the Buckeye Mountain to do a, about a 10 mile loop overnight trip. So follow me. Once you walk up that road, you are going to be meeting, greeted with this sign here. And this is how you start your trek on the trail. This trail is located about four hours ish from the Dallas Fort Worth area. So, for you Dallas Fort Worth people watching, it's a great trail that's not too far from the metro. The idea is you're going to go along this trail, go along this ridge line, and go up over the top of Buckeye Mountain and follow the ridge to the valley below. First little point of interest on the Buckeye Trail is this little spring right here. You come to it about a mile, a mile and a half or so on the whole trail from the East Caney Creek. And a special treat this time, there's some, I think these are pyramidal magnolias that are blooming. I've never seen these bloom on the trail. And they're blooming right now. Very pretty. Once you get on top of Buckeye Mountain, you'll see this big old slab of rock. Pretty cool. It's huge. I don't know how tall it is. Probably 25, 30 feet. You can walk around it if you want. But that kind of signifies that you're on top of the mountain. Probably here you can see cloudy today. Some wind as usual. Tall Peak is over there. You can make it out. There's a tower right on top of that. So we'll be up the trail here shortly. So keep following. When you're walking along the trail on the ridge top, this is pretty much what it looks like. Winds through the trees. Some broken up rock. To, to tread on but overall once you get on top it's not too bad you're getting close to going into the valley when you see Katy Mountain which is the rounded one to the left and East Hannah Mountain which is the more pointy one to the right so the trail will continue down the ridge here to the west and you will eventually go down into the valley just walk this entire ridge line and now I'm about to go down in the valley find camp for the night. Keep following to see. This is Katie Falls. Don't miss it when you come down to the valley. Beautiful waterfall. My third trip down here and this has always been flowing just like this. So here's the campsite. I stayed at last night. And it's a nice Flat site, plenty of fire rings. It's not too far from the creek down here. Pretty cool. Be heading out shortly to get back on the trail. Just down from the campsite is Caney Creek, and it's flowing nicely. Got a nice little swimming hole right here. Never camped out at this particular campsite before, but very cool. Got lots of sheer bluffs on this side, so to get back to the trail, I have to double back. But, wow, what a nice area. In the summertime, I imagine this will be a great little swimming hole. Okay, coming out, East Candy Creek Trail. It's right there. Got across this creek. This is the last creek crossing before getting back to the parking lot. Okay, folks, coming to the end of the journey. The vehicles are just up ahead. Thanks for sticking with me. Going down the trail here, I will put some information about this trail in the show note or in the description below, but I want to thank you for sticking with me to the end. I appreciate your attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe, do all the things, see more content like this. Thanks so much. Leave me a comment below if you have anything to add or questions. I'll stay out there on the trail.